Hello and welcome back to another guide to Lamplighter's League. My name is Saiken and today we're looking into another guide for team compositions. It's potentially the last one, uh, but certainly not the least one. I call this team composition the Time Manipulators. It is my true and tried, very balanced and potentially, in my opinion, uh, strongest team composition that I have played simply because it uh, has yet to find a situation where it doesn't deliver at least good if not exceptional results. So the team composition consists out of a bruiser Ingrid which uh, by herself is an, an ultra strong character, Eddie who is going to be the specialist and the guy who's setting up uh, things up and Anna Sophia who's going to be the time manipulator hence uh, the uh, specific uh, name of uh, the team. So let's take a short look at the equipment and how the whole uh, composition works. Ingrid uh, works with an accessory called Vitality Engine that allows her to give uh, her AP whenever she's uh, in, uh, sorry, the trauma battery of course, which is going to give her AP whenever she's in melee. 25% chance uh, to gain one AP. She's running the Adamantine lining, just an overall a fantastic set of armor uh, with reduction against everything plus speed increase and another speed increase with a skirmish talisman uh, plus weapon damage plus crit chance. She will come in at a crit chance around 70%, so most of her things will crit, which brings her to a couple of her, her passive abilities. Her cooldowns reduce once uh, she's critting um, and that will be important because she will have her push kick and uh, her stick and move ready almost all of the time. She has an unlimited potential to reset as long as she gets the killing blow against enemies. In terms of her further abilities, she's uh, rocking the Great Wind, which will, whenever she's inspired, give her a chance to even get more AP just on top of it. And she does have the Sage as a card uh, where she gets more crit and further cooldown reduction, making uh, sure that she's always cooldown reduced and uh, that there is a plenty of chance for her to get extra AP. But there are more ways of gaining extra AP. Eddie uh, rocks a very similar setup with the Great Wind, also has a chance to get uh, extra AP. And he's using the Bandolier uh, to not run out of ammunition, as well as uh, the Electromagnetical Optimizer, which in my perspective is the best weapon mode for any ranged damage dealer. So Armor Shred, uh, Hit Chance, Crit Chance, and so on, plus a nice little Vitality Gear. Uh, he will be responsible to set up um, all of the targets and deal a lot of damage and boy oh boy you will see that Eddie will do exactly that. And then finally we come to Anna Sophia who is going to be the time manipulator and we're going to see how she's going to do that. She's rocking a ability optimizer just to reduce uh, the cooldowns by one whenever she reloads. It's not happening that often but it is a great a sure way of reducing the uh, uh, the uh, cooldowns by one. She's also rocking the electromagnetical optimizer as well as a wonderful Vitality Gear 3. So in my perspective, perfectly statted uh, team with the best equipment uh, in the game. She is running the conjunction, which will mean that whenever she buffs someone, there is a 75% chance to regain uh, one AP for her and an additional 25% chance to regain uh, an AP for the buffed targets. Combine that uh, with uh, the free buff ability of the Herald, which not only cleanses, but also uh, refunds an AP for her. In the best case, she gets uh, a net plus one AP. Everybody gets inspired and maybe one or two of uh, the other agents get one AP as well. Um, she does have the Sage in order to reduce her cooldowns. She has all of her passive cooldown reduction and she does have Motivate, which will give her the option to basically pump um, uh, ability point, uh, action points into both uh, Eddie and Ingrid. So that's the core idea of uh, the team. Let's see how it plays out in reality and why I think that that team is very balanced and ultra strong in keeping their own ground. 
Alright, we find ourselves in a tough spot. Eight enemies, many of them with void spawns uh, or void walkers, uh, very strongly armored and high uh, hit point targets, and not necessarily the best for melee characters. But let's take a look how this uh, team is going to go about it. I pre buffed and uh, got ourselves a, a extra AP, and now we're right in the actual fight as the enemies begin to charge us we're using the herald uh, to get AP from our side unfortunately it didn't trigger any of the AP generation otherwise we would have potentially gotten more AP out of it we're going to Keep give going. both we of you another AP and we're already seeing just how great uh, the time manipulation uh, works uh, we are now having quite a few cooldowns here but uh, that is no reason to be afraid uh, so one way of dealing with that situation is we're just reducing the cooldowns by attacking an enemy. You see a single uh, set already reduces cooldowns by three. Continuing to cleanse, give others AP since uh, rebuffing counts for that. You can see how we are stacking up AP with that. If we need AP ourselves, one way of doing that is just to oh. heal everyone. That uh, gives a triple uh, AP to Anna Sophia. You can see that she nicely recovered uh, from that. We're still waiting for more Motivate, but we're continuing uh, to reduce uh, the cooldowns. And uh, with moderate cooldown reduction here, um, we are opting for the reload. You know what? We still have ammunition, so there's very likely that we're uh, going to... Um, see more cooldown reduction yep there we are more cooldown reduction and we're continuing you to give out extra this. ap with motivate to our friends i'll leave the last ap quote unquote uh, on spend for now because we can still continue to uh, get more ap with uh, restore if needed but we have nicely upgraded our um, ability points to a whooping 6 and 7. So what uh, Eddie is now going to showcase is how to start a fight uh, by getting everybody out of cover and hitting them really nicely. Those who aren't uh, going to be on, knocked now. down will take damage. You can see... He even got an AP with hit him fast. We got triple knockdown, marked, flushed, dazed. Uh, thanks to uh, his uh, cards, he has a chance of dazing every single enemy with his uh, abilities. And we're not even done yet. For killing uh, targets, he would get a reset of his abilities, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Look at that. You Eddie kills, uh, gets the Great Wind, gets hit him fast, uh, two extra AP, and we're back to uh, just another round of setting up these enemies. Mind you, um, every single shot has a chance of uh, dazing can see the ones that were dazed are knocked down um, after they are dazed and let's just uh, let that sink in for a second we're not even done with our turn this guy here will not get up for two turns because dazed plus knocked down means uh, that he's absolutely done for this guy is knocked down this guy is knocked down he will not get up for two turns and the rest is almost ready to surrender as well what does Eddie do? He moves in and we're going to see another nice little reset of his abilities. One way of doing that is effectively uh, going for a target that we haven't had uh, so far. Kill there, light him up, uh, gets uh, recharged and we're looking for more damage that Eddie can do. So, you can see Bandelier keeps us nice and loaded up. We're still up to 6 uh, AP. And uh, the enemies are now definitely all flushed out. Uh, let's use his... Uh, light him up is ready again because we killed someone. So, might as well... Nah, 3 is uh, maybe a little bit too less. But what we can do is we can... Continue to just use our normal shots, and I want to show you just how good that is. This guy is no days, days, days. These uh, are completely out of the combat for two rounds, and are not doing anything. 
So, time for a cleanup, and I haven't even showcased yet how great um, our good old Ingrid is. She gets uh, 2 AP back, um, thanks to killing and continuing to doing that. We're going to use stick and move uh, in order to get all the way to this guy over there. That was your last chance. Excellent. Now do it again. There is, uh, we're up to 8 AP. And with all of the mechanics to just gain AP, this is getting ludicrously uh, imbalanced. A kick Down, into a uh, knockdown means that he has a 100% chance of being hit. And you know what? Might as well continue to uh, do the good work here. Um, stick and move is ready again. So we are attacking. Free reset. Here. We're Show even getting um, another AP and we're up to 8 AP uh, with her. Plenty of options where we're getting uh, those AP from. And all we need to do is uh, finish the enemies. What we're going to nicely do, and this is where Eddie uh, begins to shine, is we're setting up both of them. He still has 4 AP left over. And Ingrid is going to just finish them for good. Isn't that a lovely there you go. Trauma battery and killer instinct. We're back to 8 AP. Cooldowns are down, uh, down, and uh, we've ended uh, the combat rather, uh, That's what I like to see. rather well, because we have seven AP here, four AP here, and we still have opportunities to get even more AP. So, let's shortly talk about why that is a good example of how that combination can work with time manipulation. The stacking of the uh, conjunction which allows you to once you get uh, a buff uh, receive AP then the continuous buffing with the herald then the motivation then the cooldown reduction then a re-motivation that already gets you to kind of five ish maybe even more AP on both of your damage dealers they themselves then since they do have in the wind as a card uh, do have a chance with every attack to gain an AP um, Ingrid in particular has an additional chance uh, from the allied skill trees to gain um, uh, to gain an AP from every single hit that she's doing. She gets one AP from killing an enemy. Uh, she has a chance of getting one AP from um, any attack from her belt that she's uh, wearing on top of it. And she uh, gets a chance of getting an AP for any form of buff that she's giving herself and uh, stick and move would uh, con uh, con uh, be considered to be a buff for herself so there are four or five uh, sources of gaining ap which just will completely overload the action economy on top of that she's uh, dealing um, around 80 points of damage but that's not even the best part about it let alone, let's ignore for once that there is action economy abuse uh, that I'm uh, that I'm doing here. Uh, Ingrid by herself, just with her cooldowns, is capable of continuously uh, push kicking. The push kick here will knock back three tiles. Situations uh, like this would mean that you can push this guy into this guy and both of them would fall down and are taken out of the fight for one round. Combine that with the dazing capabilities of Eddie on every single shot, then you can even take them out for two rounds. But that's not all. Whenever the push kick is down, she could use the bull and that is six fields. So let's use the same example. Bull from here all the way to here, that's three people knocked into each other and all three of them are going to be knocked down. And she can alternate between both of these as long as uh, she does have AP. And like I said, there are five or six uh, options for her uh, to gain AP, including uh, the ones from uh, Anna Sophie. She will be able to just knock that down. On top of it, she does have Onslaught. Mind you, we haven't touched a single signature ability in, in that showcase, which will uh, do an AOE knockdown. We could uh, do that here. 
here or uh, once we're ready we can uh, do it with the reinforcements that will knock down as well so the point that i'm trying to convey is why this is in my perspective the strongest of um, compositions is there are other compositions that deal slightly more damage although you can argue with all of the ap that we're getting uh, it would cut it very very close because this uh, composition here is excellent in dealing damage but the point that I'm trying to make is even if we're not consistently dealing damage, this team can take up to five, six enemies and completely crowd control them without the enemies doing anything. So there is a consistent crowd control um, from Ingrid coming in. Eddie is consistently dealing a lot of uh, damage and helps with the crowd control and Anna Sophie very consistently every single round after round can motivate with the right um, equipment and the right setup and if you're ever in trouble you're having plenty of signature abilities to get yourself out of it so i played this one through the normal campaign but i was um, uh, pretty much enlightened about how strong uh, this uh, set of uh, three heroes can be once you're getting into the very late end game because this is just going to obliterate anything that stands in their way let me know what you think about them uh, could i have built anything better does it make sense what i said do you agree with it being the strongest uh, combination that you have seen if not Leave a comment down below and let me know which one you've seen that actually performs consistently better and is very variable so that it can uh, deal with different situations. See you on the next guide, guys. Have a good one and take care. Bye-bye.